workplace is so important. The physical aspect of the workplace is so important when it comes to creativity and innovation. Because not only does the physical environment affect how we feel, it also affects how we think and how we interact with each other. So especially in the digital world where we're expecting people to be much more free with their ideas, have bigger ideas and connect with people in very, very different ways, the physical environment sets the scene for people and enables them to come together in ways that we've not seen in the past. The thing about creative workspaces is that I think there's a big misunderstanding about what a creative space looks like. And often we look at Silicon Valley and say, wow, that looks so amazing because it's bright colours and it has bean bags and slides. And then we kind of cut and paste that and say, that's going to make my people creative. When in fact, actually, that's not so true. Sometimes the most creative spaces are really actually quite um, plain. I've seen some really creative environments that are just grey but full of, and full of clutter but for the people who work there they've had um, an understanding about what they need to do and they've had the ability to, to decorate it in the way that makes them feel most creative. So I think sometimes um, we think that it, we have to have a, a, a very vibrant environment to make it creative but that's not always the case. So the physical environment has a huge impact on productivity. Um, we see a lot of hot desking going on at the moment where we are trying to get people to share environments, which is a great idea because I believe that having one person per desk can actually create a very dull and lacklustre environment. So. Um, having a hot desking environment en enables people to come in and use space as they need it. But the danger with a completely lean environment, that is a, an environment that has no decoration at all and that is very plain and bare and maybe grey, is that actually it's your productivity suffers. Um, there were some studies done a couple of years ago around the difference between a lean environment and what is called an enriched environment where there are, there's art on the wall or a view of nature or some plants. And the productivity difference between a completely bare space and one that has some decoration is 17%. So just by putting a pot plant on your desk you can actually increase your productivity. More important than that is if you have um, the ability to choose where you work or you have the ability to have an influence on the design itself, you're involved in the process for example, then your productivity goes up by 32%. So it's quite impactful in terms of involving and empowering people in their environments. There are some really simple steps that business leaders can take to inspire their, their employees through the environment. The first is just to make sure that the environment's effective. That is, that they, they have the tools that they need in order to do their work very, very simply. Make sure that the toilets work. Make sure that there are places to actually sit and do the work or, in, in fact, go and have a proper meeting or think on your own. Um, and that also lends very well to different uh, ages and, and different generational di differences because actually we all have different places and different times when we think differently. So if you're accommodating and allowing people to choose their best place to do their best work, then by virtue of doing that, you're also accommodating different generations. One of the highlights of today has been really about the diversity of uh, perspectives and you know we've seen people who have come from uh, a social enterprise environment, uh, entrepreneurial environment from retail sectors and scientists and ha just having those different minds coming together to discuss this very very important part about the future of people in business I think it's been really really inspiring.